Hey, welcome everybody back. Well, here I'm working on the Kawasaki Brute 4 750. As you can see, I got the crank all together. Uh, got it all guts put back in there. We're hoping that they're right. We're going to find out, I guess, huh? Uh, hoping everything goes good. Got the new crank, the manufactured crank. Now, one thing I wanted to show, which took me a little bit to figure out, and maybe this will help somebody else. Uh, this is putting this back in. Let me pull this out. This is on the other side. This runs the chain for this cylinder over here. And, of course, this chain will run for this cylinder. Well, to get that in there, you can see you have this little one here. This is what drives them. And it's almost impossible to try to get all that on there and then with this already in. So this is what you got to do, as I figured out now. You got to put this... You put that all in there like that, put, put them like I have it there. You can see there's nothing in the middle. Then, you run this through, but now it's, it's a certain way, so you gotta find the, and I should have checked that out beforehand, but maybe I can, because uh, it's, it's gotta go in there a certain way. It's for, you know, you can figure it, it's timed. Let me see it, and then I can do it. There it is. It's like a big lull spot there, you know, in the splines. Now, I just put those up. There it is. So, I put the lull spot of it up. It's a flat area in there. You'll see, if you have one, you'll, you'll know what I'm talking about. Now, make sure this is on here. And then you need to move it around. <laughs> so, you can push that thing in there. Moving you guys. So it takes a little finagle in here. There it is. There it is. Getting that coming through. Alrighty. Well there. There we go. Now this will fall out if you're not. So if you don't hold it. What you got is this little keeper here. There, that goes up in there. See those two bolts? So, your chains here should hold it. Well, this is what I'm going to do. You get a... <clears throat> make sure you got a... Let me find them all here. You got your Allen wrench here that goes on there like that. Put that one there so it's close. There you go. Then you take your magnet and you hold that on there like that. The one side. So you have the other side free. And then you push, push this in a little bit. You see them line up. And you just take that in there. Should be able to pull it out and just screw that in there like that. Then you put the other one on there again. Put it in there. And there you go. That is a way to get your timing gears hooking up hooked up here. Now this I think we had an issue here. I think Sam I have to I might have messed up. Uh, yeah, I think it might have. Let's see if I can get it around that. It might not work. I might have messed up. I, think, I thought that was on there. Let's see if it'll get on there. I don't know if there's enough room. Yeah, okay. See, I, this one wasn't hooked on there. It's it's trying to, but let me uh, pull these back out. And hopefully, it'll give enough room. I can get it around there. I just don't I'm not sure if there's enough room to do that. I think it might have to be in there beforehand. So I'm hoping that little plate might stay in there for me. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's not going to work. All right, so I got to take the plate back out. Push it, push it down a little bit. Pull that plate back out. What I need to do is I need to slide it out. I might not have to do that. Let's see here. Put it out far enough here to uh, put this little puppy where it needs to go on the sprocket. But I gotta get it out far enough. It'll slip on there. Let's see here. Uh, might just not work. take it all back off <laughs> all right let's push that through all right now we'll go back and do it again you can see it again okay put that underneath there push that through there we go Let's try this again, huh? You got to see it twice. Okay. Torque to spec, right? Oh, there it is. That's on there. Double check. Yep, we're on there. That's good. All right, well, there it is. There's that. Now you're going to have to bring these. I try to leave all this stuff on here so I know where it goes, so I'm not confused. So that goes up there. That's the, to help keep tension on it, on that chain. But then you have this over here that does the same thing to keep tension over here. And of course, This is a different one. And that one, it's a little bigger. Okay, let's get her in there. Okay, and then that's a eight. Here, which I like to use to zip it in, but you gotta be careful. I mean, this don't have a lot of torque, but some of these smaller bolts could create your problem. Well, those ain't too bad, it ain't gonna hurt you. And then, what you want to do is come back. Really, you need to get a torque to do it to torque specs, but I was a little. Kind of got the feel. I don't know. Could be wrong. All right. Now we have this chain going down, and that's what's going to run our oil pump. Here's our oil pump, and it looks decent shape. It looks in good shape. Um, all looks good. So, I need to clean that up. So, I'll bring you back home when I put that on. i got to clean it up first. All right, welcome back, guys. I'm going to try to turn that and get, hold that. You can see I leave the screws in here, the bolts, when I took it apart. Because I got to be part of taking this apart. I didn't take the heads or the cylinders off, but this was all together. So, if you put those bolts in there, it's a lot easier. It makes it oops, uh, assembling a little quicker. Because, um, let's see, I'm sure. Okay, 
because it makes it just simpler and faster because you know where everything's at. Simple as that, right? Because you know those screws go there. So you're not guessing or wondering what's going on. And I like to dump a little, put a little oil in there. Move it around. And then set her into place. <clears throat> and I know that these go here because that's where they were taken out of. So let's uh, tighten that up. This is for your oil pump. That's your oil pump. And this is your, and I messed up here. Hold up a second. Um, I probably can't get my nice little uh, chain on there with all that tightened up. So I'm kind of getting putting the cart in front of the horse here. Let's uh, leave a little bit of that off and I can slip it on there. Come on. There it is. There it is, see? Caught it before it got too far. Like you said, you gotta be careful using one of these drills to do this. Cause you could, this one don't have much torque, but if you use too much, you could get you into some problems. All right, now this. Now I highly recommend if you can to get you a manual so uh, you can get these all torqued down the way they should be. Now what this thing is here, what's nice about this, this is supposed to help push this up and keep that taut. You can see kind of got a tension on it. That keeps that taut. So it runs your oil pump and it runs, this is your uh, water pump, which we're going to see a little later. But I need to do a little cleaning here. I'm going to double check everything. I always like going through, check all the screws, even the main bolts that I put in here before... I go any further on this so uh, I'll turn you back on when I get going on something else here all right got that all back together I checked everything it all is good ready to go uh, I got the other engine I got to take parts off of it to put on this so what I got to do now is get my the heads uh, and the cylinders I got my pistons right here I got them marked Got front, got back, and uh, everything looks good on those. I'm going to clean them up a little bit before I put them in there. But uh, we're about ready to uh, put this all back, put this all back together, and um, carry on. So I'll turn you back on when I start putting the cylinders in and uh, the pistons and all that. All right, I'm back. Got the heads on here. They're not been torqued down yet. Uh, okay, get the torque child, but I do got the heads on, and I think I got them all in timed uh, the right way. I double checked it. I do have to put. I probably need to do that before I forget again. This little piece back on here. Well, this little piece I got to put back in there. So I'm gonna do that, and then um, pull that off of there. Uh, just start torquing the heads all down, getting all the bolts in it, and uh, and then I can start putting on this side. Now, what I gotta do is since I gotta take that one off of there, that's the one that goes on there. So I need to take that one off of there and put it on that motor. And I need to take those carburetors off to put on there. Take my exhaust off and get that motor out uh, so I can put the new motor in. Once I get this all put together. So, a few things. I got to get an oil filter. And um, just a few things I got to trade over to here. But just come along and then uh, I'll probably bring you back on. as go get this all accomplished. Torquing these down. Hooking all that up. And 
then we'll have it here for the first the first start hopefully that's always a scary one the first start is always a scary one you're hoping it does good but you're scared from putting the motor all back together after you had that many beats, pieces apart so i'll bring you back on for that this will probably be the end of this video it's getting pretty long and uh like i said if you want to follow along i got more projects coming hey come along with me subscribe hit the little bell there and you'll get notifications right when i put on a uh, a video and uh i'll have more i got coming up uh i gotta replace uh boards on the decking so that's going to be coming up too i'll see how much of that uh we get on there but hey thanks a lot subscribe and come along and hope you just have a good day take care